Hey y'all! So today I'm going to be trying something a little different. I'm mixing two video concepts together to make a baby. We're doing a 5K versus a 50K furnishing challenge in The Sims 4 today. I'm going to be taking someone's empty, unfurnished build, furnishing it myself. We're doing one round with 5,000 simoleons and another round with 50,000 simoleons. That sounds like a lot, but I feel like we might be able to breeze through it pretty quick. Here is the house in question by uh, Mild Milk, looks like. I loved the color of it, so I just immediately was gravitated towards it, and I actually really like the layout. I think it's very nice. Here it is in the flesh. It also has a very beautiful backyard that's like already pre-furnished. Isn't that cute? I never do backyards, but I really should because that inspires me. So inside, I believe we have like an entryway, a living room. This could be like a dining space, a kitchen, and like a mud room maybe, or an office. Then upstairs, we obviously have uh, two bedrooms and one small room, and then two bathrooms. I think one of them could be a laundry room. Maybe the one upstairs, because this seems more like a mud room to me, and this is giving like laundry room. We could fit them there. Well, maybe for the 50K. <laughs> How am I gonna do all that with 5K actually? It's gonna be so barren. Okay, so let's change our funds to a whopping 5,000. There we go. And let's get started. So luckily I don't have to like landscape or anything like that. Hallelujah. Let's get the absolute basics first. And we're gonna have to probably go cheap. It does look like a fireplace is meant to be put here. There is one random sconce. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that there probably was two at some point and something got lost. But I'm just gonna, <gasps> not me cheating. Hold on, okay. Okay, so immediately let's just put down a couch. See, this may not be like a, a TV kind of family. That's what I like to say when they just can't afford a TV. <laughs> when there's just not enough room in the budget for that. Okay, that looks good there. I'm literally like, I'm not gonna put down anything else until I know for sure that we have something in every room. See, okay, in here, I wanted to do a table. Actually, this was a pretty long table for a pretty cheap price. So maybe I'll just do that in here. I don't know if I should like scoot it towards the wall or not. I'll get, I guess I'll see in a sec. I'd love to use these chairs. They're $50 a piece. That's not bad. That's a lot of chairs though. And will I be making them pink? Absolutely. I absolutely will. It is kind of cute in the middle of the room. If I, no, I want it in the middle. Sorry. Okay, moving on. Kitchen. This could be a massive kitchen. I think it's gonna look a whole lot different when I have the 50K versus the five. I wanna use, I can already see it, either like these new cabinets here or maybe like a green or something. I don't know, like something expensive. But since we can't afford that, maybe we could do still green. Actually, no, sorry, I don't like it at all. I actually like don't even want these countertops in here. I may have to just do it anyways. I'm being a bit of a weenie about it. I could do these, but for just a smidge more, we could have this and this is like a huge step up. Like, look at that green, that's way better. Oh, the blue. Oh my God, let's do the blue. So in my vision here, I'm imagining like, maybe the kitchen sort of coming around like this. Could have an island in the middle if you wanted to, or you could have a table. That might be what I do. But you could definitely have like an island or something to sort of break, or maybe not even an island. Maybe you could just have more countertops. I don't know. But like, this is kind of a lot. Like I only have 2000 smoleans left. We don't have any bathrooms, we don't have any bedrooms. So I'm thinking like this is like not in the cards for us. I'm gonna have to do the cheapest sink. I know it's ugly. I know. Cheapest little trash can you ever did see. That is so sad. That actually almost makes me want to move everything over here. Oh my God, we don't have a stove. Dude, cheap stove. Hate to see it, but it must be done. Okay, can we just do that? Maybe that. That's so sad. That is a big kitchen. I'm gonna just skip my little laundry room or mud room idea. Go straight to the bathroom. Bathtubs are cheap, therefore we are using one. That's a full bathroom, all right? Now, if you go upstairs, you know what? I have an idea. I actually have an idea. Why don't we remove a couple of chairs and just do that instead? That gives me a little bit of cash. These are very nice beds. I really like them. Oh, so gorgeous. Love it. Let's just put beds in the room. So there's, man, these rooms are huge. Oh, I only have 1,800 simoleons left. What the frick happened? Okay, bed. Okay, there's only two bedrooms. That's good, that's good. Dude, I don't, I don't think <laughs> This has too many bathrooms, actually. I think it would be good to try to get a shower. We could do this cheap one. It's really sad. It's 300 and this is 375. <gasps> where did all my money go? Genuinely, where did my money go? Where is it? Where did it all go? Help me, I'm poor. 
there's still another bathroom. Dude, how much was this? 375. How much was the bathtub? 350. It's literally the same. It's literally the same. It's so stupid. And then you got your little bathtub right here. And then what else do you have? Nothing! You have nothing! This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding. What if I change the um the chairs, the dining chairs? Because how much are those? $50? They could be 30 40 I mean, I don't know how big of a difference that's gonna make, and they're gonna be uglier. Wait, wait, wait. These aren't that ugly. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how much that really helped. But I would I really wanted to get like a coffee table, some rugs, you know? I really don't want to use that one. Oh, wait, that one looks kind of good, actually. <laughs> Do you think I could get a rug? That's not the rug I want. Actually, I wanted this rug in here real bad. I think that would make the room look way better. And I I agree with myself. In here, I wanted like a big, you know, a big rug, like this size. This will be the last thing I can purchase though, if I do that. I won't be able to get in tables upstairs, no mirrors, nothing. Which I'm, I don't think I could have done anyways. Five whole dollars. Wow. Every room has something except for this one and this one. But could you function in this house? Yes. I mean, I don't know. What can I even give for $5? Some scratches on the walls. This one's $5. <laughs> one bedroom can have art or maybe the living room or the entryway. I don't know. I feel like this should have it. Like you should win. Isn't that sad? I have $0, <laughs> literally zero. This is as much as I could do. And I used pretty cheap furniture too. I didn't like ball too hard. Upstairs is really pathetic. Like, I mean, these rooms are also quite large. It's really, really making it look like I didn't put anything in them, which I mean, I I mean, I really didn't. Okay, well, that's part of the challenge. That's 5K in this house. It does not go a long way. Um, Even when you buy cheap stuff, it really didn't go a long way. I mean, this room's okay. You just don't have like an end table or a TV or anything else. But I mean, like, that's not bad. You know, you got a rug. I'm happy to have a rug, two rugs. Okay, so now let's delete all of this and do a 50K budget and see what the difference is. All right, everything has been deleted. There is nothing left of what we just did. So now let's change the budget to 50K. This is a pretty hefty budget, I gotta admit. We could go kind of crazy. I mean, we may have money left over. Well, let's get started. Let's start in the entryway this time. We actually have room to do that. Right away, let's put a little shelf so you can hang your little leashes and collars for your doggies. We need a pretty console table. Okay, we'll put a mirror there. I think we could get a, a nice big plant right there in the corner. Okay, we've got some clutter on there. Okay, I love having baskets under tables like this. Might just like turn these around so they look kind of normal. They do still have ears, but like, doesn't that look pretty? Okay, we've got a little rug. And over here, I've got like a little ottoman with a plant and a little picture. All right, moving on to the living room. So this time we're gonna do it right. We're gonna get a fireplace right where this one is and it's gonna be gorge and we're gonna get a TV and we're gonna get the frame TV too because I'm not playing around anymore. Okay, this rug has kind of a crazy pattern that doesn't really match the walls, but I kind of like the way that it looks. So I'm gonna go with it. What if I put these giant bookshelves here? I kind of love it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make this like fake window seat thing over here. We've got this pillow. I'm just gonna try to put some on here. Maybe like in the corners, maybe I'll, can I? Oh, <laughs> that gets really, that is one big freaking pillow. You think that's a little too big guys? Hold on, we gotta keep it for the plot now. Actually, it's not going anywhere. Okay, some curtains, a painting. And then on this side, maybe I can have like a chair. What about the cow print? How are we feeling about that? Oh, these are so cute though. Oh, what about that one? Kind of matches the rug. That is so cute. That is super cute. Like some little pet portraits up there would be nice. And we're good, let's move on. So this was going to be the dining room and it still is. I don't know why I said it like that. Except this time we can actually afford all the chairs. And I'm still gonna get these pink chairs like I had before. I want them back. Can I get a rug to fit this though? I don't know. I need like this rug. Oh. I didn't realize it had other nice patterns. They're a little weird. They are for a bowling alley. So like, I understand, but like they are weird. <laughs> like, they're super weird. Some of these are just a little too loud and in your face for me. This is kind of the only one that's not really, but it's definitely interesting. We'll put some flowers on there, some curtains, a painting, another painting. And maybe we put a mirror over here with a plant. Always gotta complete it with a plant. Oh yeah, there we go. Now for the kitchen. Okay, this was really pathetic. 
in the 5K one. So let me rethink my whole strategy here, okay? Because now that I have some cash, maybe we do a totally different layout. <laughs> this isn't that much different. It's just sort of switching where the fridge is. Okay, that's looking nice. Now for upper cabinets, I really don't know what to do because I don't know, it's like this, this is kind of random. Yeah, I don't know. They're, like the way that it has to be placed is kind of weird. So maybe I just don't do it at all. Maybe instead what I do, I can put down some shelves. Okay, I have filled that thing up with clutter to the brim. It's not going anywhere. It is full. I might put a couple more things down here just cause there's like so much empty space. Actually, you know what I might do? Over here, we can add like maybe a microwave, a coffee maker. We can put some mugs next to this. Oh, we can put some stackable plates next to the microwave. You know how got <laughs> you know how much I love my stackable plates, okay? Maybe on this side we could do upper cabinets. Okay, that looks nice. I think that's really cute. Now instead of doing an island in the middle, like I had said before, I actually really liked having this rug in here. I thought it was really cute and pretty and like just the right size. Some cute little paintings. Oh, and before I forget, a trash can. There we go. That kitchen looks way <laughs> nicer than the other one. The other one was pathetic. Okay, so this is like the mud room. So I have a little bench in here. I couldn't really fit it anywhere that made sense to me besides like over here. I could maybe do it there. Okay, but I know I want one of these. I don't know which one though. I might actually squeeze these a little together. Okay, it does glitch a little bit, but like how nice does that look? That looks so cute. Oh, look at the blue actually. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, we definitely need a rug in here. Yep, that looks super cute. Oh, I just realized that that was blue. For sure need some plants. Hopefully this door opens out the other way. Otherwise this mirror is just simply getting smashed. Little decor right there. I think this room is super cute. I almost forgot the bathroom. I almost completely missed it. It's kind of hidden right here, which is nice. But now we can do like a way nicer bathroom with a mirror, which we did not get the luxury of having the first time. I can't believe this is 2300. I mean, it's, it's a spectacular item, but I think I would rather do a shower and then like decor instead of doing a bathtub down here. Or actually, no, maybe I do want a bathtub. I mean, the sizing is just right. It is a little bit random for like, just this random downstairs bathroom to have a bath in it. Maybe it doesn't make sense. There is this really nice linen shelf. I think I put it upstairs, but I might use it twice. There's this shelf that has a bunch of like linen type of stuff on it. It's, it's lovely. We could use it in here. It fits the space absolutely perfectly. Put a little towel right there. Okay, now we can go upstairs. In the hallway, um, let's do like big plant over there because we have room for it. Then over here, let's do like cute chair. Oh my God, do I do cute chair with cute lamp? I think we should move cute chair and cute lamp over here. We'll get some curtains. I don't know. I almost feel like that's a perfect spot for like a full size couch. And it really is, it really is. Now I'm concerned about my chair and my lamp. Let's just move that chair somewhere else. I mean, God, how cute is that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna put this teeny tiny painting above here. How adorable is that? I love it. Okay, maybe we could use a chess table. I, whenever I do these build videos a lot, I tend to forget that like Sims do stuff. I need to remember to like put activities in the houses, like a chess table. Like, look how lively this looks now. This looks so good already. With this random little wreath above it, beautiful. A plant right there will work. Don't even ask, don't even ask. Maybe I could put a mirror right there. I mean, it fits beautifully. Maybe like one small painting here. That hallway is looking lively as ever. I love it. Let's do this so-called laundry room. Let's see if this will even really fit in here. Oh, maybe it won't actually. Oh, you know what? It will if I stack them. Check that out. Boom, perfect fit. Oh, that looks good. Okay, <laughs> just really excited about that. I'm gonna stick like a vacuum in here. Maybe a laundry basket. The same curtains from outside. This little rug. What else can I put in here? Oh wait, this is good. A cart. And then on the cart, what if I put, oh my God, they snap on. Can I get them to stack, you think? Oh my God, wait, I kind of did it. <laughs> okay, that worked. Put a little painting there of some children. This is what I was looking for, the broom. I was looking for that the whole time. Let's move on to the bedrooms. You know, I said 50K would be a lot and it is, but we technically only have 16,000 left. I mean, look at how much we've blown through. And I still have four rooms to go. Two are only bathrooms, but I mean, those can be pricey. Okay, we've got this little thing going on right here, which I'm loving. Okay, I've put a little candle making station in here, a mirror, a plant. 
I'm just trying to figure out what to do on this wall. These rooms are quite large, so trying to fill the space is a little difficult. Oh, you know what? I, I could just put another couch in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have tons of room. Oh my God. Kind of love the green one in here. Maybe I do the same thing over here with a chair. Okay, this is looking super cute. Love it. Okay. Little bench at the end of the bed. Cute. All right, moving on to this bathroom. So for this one, I am thinking, oh my God, we only have 10,000 simoleons left. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. I'm thinking we could do a double sink situation. Now this might be a bit ambitious knowing what I just found out about the 10K. So be careful with this one. A little sconce in the middle. Actually forget that sconce, do this sconce. It's way better, way cuter. Little towel. Then on this side, this is where I'm gonna have a shower and a separate bathtub. Gonna have to go cheap on these. <laughs> Ooh, very zen, I like that. Okay, staying with the zen theme, that looks very nice. Should I put the rug like right in the middle or should I put it, I don't know. Let's just put it there and then look away if it bothers us. Okay, now we've got some product on there. And moving on to the next bedroom. Okay, I do have this chair in here that I've meant to use. So let's try to use that. We are starting to run a little low on funds. We gotta keep that in mind. I think we can still make it no problem, but just keeping an eye out for Selena, if you know what I mean. <gasps> okay, I'm loving this green theme. Oh, it's so pretty. We have a lot of leaves happening. I'm, I've just realized, but that's okay. Little bench there at the bottom of the bed. Two lamps. Oh, our money is trickling away very, very quickly. Okay, the decor in here is so freaking random. Like, I don't know about this wall. <laughs> Listen, I do feel like the colors are right though. Like they've got the right sort of tone. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I don't do two. Maybe I just, just do the one. Maybe I do like some plants here and then like a lamp, the chair, another plant over here. Yeah, this room is just huge. It's hard to fill it all in. Let's move on to the last room, which is this bathroom. It's Again, it's quite large. We have 4,600 simoleons left. I really thought that like 5,000 was gonna be way too much. Or, sorry, 50,000 was gonna be way too much. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna spend that all. It's easy to do when you've got expensive taste. Maybe I'll go crazy and use this. Oh yeah, I love this thing. <laughs> I really do, I really love it. It is really expensive. And then for the sink, maybe I just... Put it over here. I don't ever really use this little wheelie basket thing, but it's pretty cute. Well, let's just throw that over here. Put a little towel on the wall, a towel here for the shower, maybe a robe. Ooh, I kind of prefer this. And then on top of here, we can put a painting. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that. Maybe we could fit a rug in there. Maybe this like little fuzzy one. I've been using a lot of pink in this house because I like pink. Okay, I actually think that looks super cute. And I honestly think I'm done. I have 945 simoleons left, which is crazy that I blew through that whole budget with like literally no effort at all. I didn't even try. I forgot a plant in this corner. Hold on, we've got time. You might as well make it too, whatever. What if I bring out an old trick in the book? Put the plant on a pedestal. Oh my God, I don't even want this one anymore. <laughs> it's not even, it's not that fancy. I'm loving that, okay. Yeah, okay, so 830 simoleons left, but I'm like pretty happy with it. I think it looks so nice. All right, let's do a little tour. Here is the entryway. Welcome to my home. We have a little like sitting area over here. If you'll come this way into the living room, yes, you will be greeted with lots of books. A little seating area with the world's largest pillow. Painting, what happened there? <laughs> Hold on, hold. Anyway, moving right along here is welcome to our lovely dining room. Lots of interesting colors in here. There really are. And then in here, boom, bathroom. Moving on. Welcome to our kitchen. This is probably my favorite room in the whole house. I just think it's so cute. I love the, the green and the little shelves and this rug. I love it, I think it's so cute. And then if you come this way, we'll take you into our little mud room. Oh my God. Wait, this is actually sick. I love this room. Wait, I actually love this room. It's so fun. And then if we go upstairs, here is the upstairs hallway, looking grand as ever. This green couch really made a big difference. If you'll come in here, welcome to our laundry room. I love this item. Wait, what's sticking through the wall now? Okay, it's no problem at all. And if you come into this room, welcome. I like this room. When rooms are too big, I don't know what to do with them, but this one I think is really cute. I like the colors. 
I think it's cute. All right, moving on. And then if you come into this room, boom. I love this bathroom too. I think it came out really nice. It's super cozy. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I put a rug in here. It just makes it feel so like, I don't know, lived in. And then in this room, this is my least favorite room in the house. It's just very big, really hard to furnish. I didn't really know what to do with it. I feel like there's a lot of empty space, but I think it's all right. You know, I did my best. And then, does this, is this an ensuite? Oh my God, wait, hello? Oh, I didn't even realize this was, an, this was an ensuite. Dang, okay. So this bedroom has its own little bathroom and I think it's super duper cute. Love this little basket, love it, cute. And that is the house. So it's safe to say I am much more comfortable with a $50,000 budget than a 5K one. The 5K one just made me wanna quit. So, but that is gonna be all for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.